What's up, fam? I have been accused of cheating, accusations, been called the queen of mods, all because of this little hidden gem of the operating mod for the Cordite SMG called the belt feed that I'm going to be telling you about. It got me over 100 plus kills in this gameplay. If you're unfamiliar with it, you can unlock this by fully leveling up the Cordite and Black Ops 4. Keep in mind, though, that it will take up two slots in your loadout, so choose YZ FEMO. This game mode was one of the two times XP feature modes called Endurance Domination, so it was a long match. Let's get into this loadout. So we have the Cordite loadout with FNJ 1 and 2, Rapid Fire, and the awesome Belt Feet Operator mod. For equipment, we're using the Cosmic Device. Cosmic, Cosmic Device, bruh. And any perk you want, I suggest using Ghost or Cold Blooded. Having double FMJ is going to allow us to shred through certain walls, objects, and players. Rapid Fire is going to give us the ability to shoot quicker, which should lead to us taking out the opponent faster as well. Extender mags won't be necessary for this loadout because we'll be using the Belt Free Operator mod that will give us 600 bullets for ammo. And we don't need to reload, but the gun can still overheat if you shoot it for too long at once. So we do have to use it strategically. On to our equipment, I use Cosmic Device. Um, because this is going to give us our score streaks faster to help us drop people off even faster. Other equipment that I would recommend are Equipment Charge or Stem Shot. You can also always add like an additional perk instead too. For perks, I actually can't remember if I was using Ghost or if I was running Cold Blood in this match, but those are the two that I usually switch between. Another one of my go-to perks is usually going to be Scavenger too, but Obviously for this loadout, we're not gonna need it because of this operator mod, like we probably got 600 bullets. So if I am playing against a six man or like just an insane party, I'll probably be running cold blooded to avoid their streak because usually I'd be running with some bots, I ain't gonna lie. I'd just be running solo most of the time. So yeah, if it's regular lobby though, then just running ghosts is usually good to avoid people's UAVs. Some other really good perks that I usually run are, like I said earlier, Scavenger, Dexterity, or Dead Silence. But lately, the main ones that I have been, like, my go-tos have been probably Scavenger, Cold-Blooded, and Ghost. Like, those are my three main ones. Like, those are the go-tos right there. I do want to add that sometimes this gun can have its days where it just feels like it's really hit or miss. And it makes me want to switch to the VMP or an assault rifle like the Maddox or the KM57 instead, mainly because this gun is better used on smaller maps because it is an SMG. So definitely have other loadouts available depending on which map you're on. It's still one of my favorite guns though, like in the game, 100%. But sometimes I feel like I'll have games where I'm going absolutely insane with it. And then other games where I'm like, why? Why the heck isn't the gun shredding like like it usually does? Like what happened? <laughs> but yeah, I do have a confession to make to you though, fam. Like oh, when it comes to me, bro, I have a terrible habit. I have a terrible habit of reloading way too much. Okay, it's to the point that like it it just like gets me killed all the time, like off my streets, or I just can't clutch certain situations because I just reloaded at the wrong time so it's like it could be a moment too soon it could be too late so having this loadout in my bag like just having this ready is honestly super helpful for me because I just need to pay attention to not overheating the gun instead of like timing out when I want to reload you get what I'm saying and I know that you know sweats and chat probably think oh well, shoot that's not like a skill issue to me <laughs> But for real, for real, hey fam, it works for me. So maybe this will be something for you to try out too if you have the same issue of, you know, constantly reload, reloading that type of habit too. But yeah, fam, it definitely works for me. So hopefully it will help one of y'all out as well in the comments. Let me know what you think of it. Um, so far, let me know what you think of the loadout. Should I add like a different perks? Should I add different equipment or try out different attachments? What loadout do y'all usually run with your Cordites? Let me know and do what the loadouts you want to see too. I'm trying to put out as many COD videos before we get us a new Call of Duty uh, Gulf War coming out. So once I finish all my Black Ops 4 videos, we gonna be on to Cold War. And after I finish Cold War, we gonna be playing that new Cold War, you feel me? 
All right, I feel like in the beginning of this gameplay, they really thought it was like about to be an easy game for them and really found out who they were playing against, like no lie. But <laughs> it was too late, but I was like, they already let me get my streaks and start to go crazy. I was like, well, what do y'all like? I don't know, I don't know what they thought this was. But let me know what y'all think of the streaks in this game too. In this match, I was using the Sniper's Nest, okay. Thresher, and Gunship, which I think is a pretty cool piece core streak setup. Like, Majority of the time I don't run a gunship because I'd rather stay on the ground to get kills, like straight from my gun. But I know some folks love to see the gunship plays, so I'm glad that y'all got to see it in this one. But I don't use it often, so let me know what y'all usually use as far as streaks. Um, if you like, you know, always one-off gunship or what. <laughs> but if you notice too, although I did get my gunship in the first round, I didn't use it immediately. So when the second round started, I just kept going for kills until I died off my streak and I used the gunship in a cover location where for one, I couldn't, you know, catch myself lacking with my own gunship, like, <laughs> and also the enemies can't find me easily either. So whenever you're in your gunship, like whenever it's about to be ready to like, honestly, I said that wrong. Whenever it's about to like be done with, okay, you gotta be ready to get right back in the fight. You get what I'm saying? So, you know, just be like Mike Tyson, be ready to get back in that fight, you know, ding, 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 be ready, be ready for the knockout. <laughs> Somebody might be right up on you though, because if you didn't get killed while you are using it, somebody is more than likely around trying to find you, to take you off your streak, to stop you from getting more, more kills on them or a gunship back to back pretty much. So, which honestly you probably saw happen to me as well. Luckily my teammates were right next to me to help me out. I rarely ever say this, but W teammates, W teammates, bro. Especially for some randoms, bro. Like I was playing completely random. I usually play solo, like I said, or with my subscribers on stream, shout out to y'all. But if you ever want to play with me, just subscribe and comment that you subscribe with your gaming tag. All I ask is that you keep your language family friendly. Thank you. I Nick at 30, you know. <laughs> uh, for my opera, my I was oh my goodness, my voice, bro. I've been having such a sore throat, y'all. Everybody's been sick. If you know, you know. If you're sick out there, I pray for you, bro. I hope you feel better. But for my operator, I was using Prophet. And this one, and he's definitely one of my favorite ones. Prophet uses the Seeker and the Tempest, which can easily really clutch to stop players rushing you from different directions. And other than Prophet, I will use Reaper on long range maps or Nuketown because of his radar shroud. A battery is good too. He's really good to use for like specialist weapon challenges. I did a lot of uh, my challenges with her. Ash is a team player because he can supply ammo and give extra health, or you could use zero and she's great for snatching try hard score streaks. Like she's literally every try hard score nightmare, like no cap. If if you use it properly, you gotta use it right and hopefully your team is protected because sometimes that jump could take forever. But let me know who's your main operator and why you chose them and shoot onto the accusations and and then, you know, just talk about actual monitors in the game. That's it. I said modders. Why did it sound like I said modders? Let's talk about the actual modders in the game, folks, okay? So this community has seen more and more modders come into the game. These folks are usually resetting their accounts to level one, and now some of them don't even have to do that anymore. I've seen four to five letter name accounts modding, and some of them are just level 55. Like they're using swords, flying around and using invisible mods so that you can only see their gun on the ground moving around. And this is usually done with the Cordite style, see? Uh, shout out Kyan TV. Um, he referred to this, I was in one of his streams one day, he referred to it that, he called it like the walking, <laughs> he called it the walking Cordite. I was like, bruh. <laughs> Kind of like the walking heaters now, right? Shout out to the walking heaters, see? So you can only kill the invisible players using a rocket launcher, right? And I actually clipped Queasy doing this too. So he actually killed one of them with the rocket launcher. I think he did it twice. He might have did it back to back. I don't remember. But shout out to them, fam. Link in description on them too. Like I said earlier, I've been accused of modding because after I catch somebody lacking, they watch the kill cam and see that my max ammo is like 
Like the ammo that I would have is like between 500 to 600 ammo, like the bullets that I got left. And they think that I'm cheating, but I'm like, nah. But also, quick tip too, also once you run out of those 600 bullets, you, are, you should know you're gonna need to pick up a new gun. And it's rare that you would run out before, you know, racking up a bunch of kilos so. though. But these people are just misinformed about the weapons and operator mods that are in the game. So hopefully this video clears that up because literally anyone can unlock this and use it in the game. I don't condone cheating at all. And if you're a goofy cheating, feel free to unsubscribe. I don't rock with you. Uh, I think it's fine for folks to like have fun with their mods and private lobbies. And please excuse my heater, it's cold here. <laughs> if y'all hear that in the background. But I think it's fine for people to like, you know, just have their fun in private lobbies or get some bots or whatever, you know, but bringing that into public lobbies is trash, man. Keep that offline. All the cheaters I run into are usually terrible at the game and they hate their life. So pray for them. Okay. <clears throat> the gameplay you're currently watching and I hope dropping a like on if you're a W supporter. <laughs> was recorded live on my no commentary channel where I just play the game and don't have like like live commentary like I do on this channel, but I do respond to chat through text. That channel is called Prestige Click No Comms, okay? The link is in the description. And honestly, I think that most of my best gameplays are recorded on that channel, probably because I'm just more focused on playing the game and not reading and responding to two different chats on YouTube and Twitch at the same time, while also in playing and probably holding my baby at the same time too. So, yeah, no excuses. <laughs> Who's gonna carry the boat? All right, on a happier note, I know you guys enjoyed my short on the KM57. I did make a previous video on it, but I have an even better one with a high kill gameplay coming soon. So definitely you turn on post notifications to not miss out on that one. It's become my go-to AR if I'm on a long range map against some super sweaty kids. <laughs> but yeah fam, let me know if you've tried out the Cordite with the Opera Maya or do you prefer it without it? Let me know what you think of it. Uh, remember to let me know which class set us we should do next. And since you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We on the road to 2K subs and watch this loadout video next time. God bless. Taking A. Tactical beacon online.